That's so important. Will you do that? So write to us right now before you forget. Now, uh, let's... Uh, Sheriff Don, I don't know if you realize this or not, but Marty and I often use the mailbox clubs in our devotions. That's a terrific idea, I, I think Ron. it is, too. You know, Sheriff Don, we had a really good one this past week. It was about Naaman. I remember yes, Naaman. that was a good story. You know, Marty, the king greatly admired Naaman because he was the commander-in-chief of the army, and he had led their army in many victories, but Naaman did have a problem. Yeah, he had leprosy, and that was a terrible, terrible disease back then, and there was no cure for it. That's right, Marty. But in the meantime, the prophet Elijah had heard about Naaman's problem, and he invited Naaman to come to his house so that the Lord might heal him. But so Naaman got on his horse and he rode to where Elijah's house was and he had all of his chariots and his horses and all of his men there and he got off his horse and he walked up to Naaman's house or rather he walked up to Elijah's house and, and but Elijah didn't come out, did he, Ron? No, that's not exactly the way it happened, Marty. That's what Naaman expected. But instead, Elijah just sent out a messenger with instructions for what Naaman was supposed to do. And he was to, he was to go down to the Jordan River and dip in the river seven times, and he would come out completely healed. That's right. And you, know, you know, you would think that Naaman would be overjoyed and excited that he would be healed of this terrible disease by following really very simple instructions. But... That's not what happened. He became very angry and upset. That's right, because Elijah didn't come out and talk to him face to face. That's what he expected. He said, well, the very least that could happen is Elijah could come out and talk to me. He says, well, he says, well, if all I have to do is dip in the river seven times, I may as well just go on back home because there's plenty of rivers back there I can dip in seven times. But Naaman then said, no, Naaman, no, don't do that. You must follow Elijah's instructions exactly. So anyway, after Naaman had finally calmed down, he went down to the river, just as Elijah had instructed. He dipped in seven times, and when he came up, he was completely healed. Isn't that wonderful, Ron, that Naaman was completely healed? God used Elijah to heal Naaman. That's wonderful, Marty, but you know what I really find uh, interesting about this story is that Naaman almost missed out on being healed. You mean because he became angry? That's right. You remember, Marty, Naaman became very upset, and he was just going to go on back home and do it his own way. But fortunately, he calmed down, and he was able to be healed. You know, Sheriff Don, anger can be a terrible, terrible thing. Yes, it can, Marty. Naaman it... almost missed out on being healed. He sure did. Now, I'll tell you what, that's a good story, Ron and Marty.